Ah, folks, welcome to another episode of UMT TV. That's University Mall Theater's television. We miss y'all so much, we decided to make a series of mini movies about what we've been doing to keep busy around here. Every morning, I grab my camera bag and roll it over to the theater. I sit down in my office. Ah, there. So, looks like my string broke on my glasses. And it is no longer holding them together properly. So, time to fix them. And might as well fix the other thing too while we're at it. Let's see. First thing we're going to need is to be able to see. And next thing we need is a rubber band. Get a pair of scissors and cut the rubber band. Now you got a straight band. Let's see. We gotta take all this off. I remove all the tape from my broken glasses, peeling every little bit of it off. Once I'm sure I've gotten every single little bit of it off, I grab myself a piece of fresh tape off the roll. I take off the residue from the old tape, grab my super glue, applying tiny little dots of it to the broken hinge of my glasses. It was really fiddly and didn't want to go back together. I got it to work then set it out to dry. Once it was dried, I took the tape off of the end pieces. Once they were all clean, I grabbed myself a sharpie and colored in the rubber band so it would match. While I was doing this, Kyle came in to ask me a question. I answered him while the ink was drying, then grabbed a couple of tiny pieces of duct tape, which I first wrapped around the rubber band and then around the bow of the glasses. E voila! Now my glasses aren't gonna fall off anymore! <laughs> Howdy folks, great news! We are at almost 300 subscribers on YouTube and we only need to get to 1,000 to unlock all the benefits. So if you see that button anywhere around here, go ahead and click subscribe. Every single one counts. This week we want to try some different things. Uh, first off, I want to walk around and introduce you to some of my wonderful co-workers. And we wanted to try the vlogging thing. So I'm going to walk around with my cane here. People always ask me if I hurt my leg. Nope, I have a bad back from an old back injury. And sometimes it just acts up a little bit. But I wanted to go over here and introduce you to Luke and Kyle. Now, I'm not going to officially properly interview them. I'm just going to point the camera at them and let them say whatever they want to say. Now, it could be that they're going to stutter in, say um and ah a lot, so I'll edit all that out. So if it's a little choppy, uh, this is completely unscripted. These guys do not even really know what's coming. So let's go over here, over to the concession counter area. Let's see if I can get the camera to turn. Let's see, there they are. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, all right, if I ask, uh, sort of do a fake interview with you? All right, cool. Let me just put the uh, camera down on the tripod here. Hi, I'm Luke. The wonderful thing about this place is the movie going experience that we offer, I would say is at least as good, if not better, than so many other theaters out there. Uh, I've been so happy with the response of seeing people if given a chance to show how much they love this place, we're happy to do so. I've seen people just coming in every day to get popcorn, not because our popcorn is worth getting every day, I'm kidding it is, uh, but because they, they love this business and want to support us. And it's just been wonderful to see. The main difference and distinction between here and elsewhere is the price, and I think the biggest complaint I hear, and the biggest reason why people don't go see movies in the movie theater is cost. And I absolutely get that. It is rather ridiculous to shell out what some of these other theaters are asking people to shell out. Oh, that there is another option, that you can come to a place and get the big screen, the surround sound, the way movies were meant to be consumed, and the delicious popcorn, and Honestly, come in here with a $10 bill, you'll probably end up with change back. 
when all is said and done, if you get a ticket, a popcorn, a drink, you, you'll probably still have money left over. So that's what I tell people is wonderful about this place is it's, it's, it's the perfect option for budget and entertainment. This theater has been wonderful to me. Uh, I've worked here, gosh, a number of years now. It was a part-time job for me and I had another job. So when they closed the schools, there went my job. And uh, the lovely folks here are willing to give me more hours uh, to the point where I'm actually working full time now, thanks to the kindness of Marco Mayer. This has always been a wonderful place that looks out for its employees. Hi, I'm Kyle. I've been working with Mark ever since I worked here, uh, thanks to my dad, uh, Dave Ayers, who was a technician here. I've been working at University Mall Theaters for almost 17 years, coming up this month. And I started working here since June of 2003, which is unbelievable. And I enjoy working here. It is the only job I had working here. I don't have other jobs. It's been the fastest 17 years of my working career. It's been fun. Um, customers are nice. We have the best price here in town. Spent $13 for a movie to ticket. No, you come here and buy three tickets for the same price as a movie ticket for another theater. I want this theater to be reopened again. So come on, help us support. And we have got the delicious best popcorn here, uh, freshly popped, awesomeness. Uh, we still can't beat the price on the food. Anyway, please come and support us at University Mall Theaters as soon as we need to reopen this theater back to keep our business going. I, I pop the best popcorn. <laughs> Oh, nice. That was beautiful. And, and my two bosses, Mark O'Meara and Dan Collins, are nice. I always supported them. I do what they do. Uh, they ask me what to do. So please come and support our theater. We need to get this business back open. Now, last week, me and Luke were moving some big, heavy speakers in the back of theater number two so that we could do all the flooring and I pulled my back out, so I haven't been able to do that myself. So I asked some of my friends to come in and do it. And down here, if you follow me, we're gonna see the lovely Riley, who is working in auditorium number three. Now we have three different auditoriums here, so you've seen me mostly in auditorium number two, but if we go all the way down here past the, uh, the mop room behind me now, we're going to go into auditorium three and say hi to Riley. Hi, I'm Riley. Riley's been doing a great job filling in the holes we missed in our beautiful new painted concrete floors. Yeah, I've been working here for almost four years now and we've been closed as of March due to COVID-19, but in the meantime, as we prepare for reopening this lovely theater to you, I've spent my time patching up holes of where our old seats were. Let me tell you, it's starting to look good in there. At the end of one really long day, as she was getting ready to go, Riley mentioned I should say something unique about movie theaters in every episode. Now I forgot to show you our back hallway, but if you take a look down here, there are so many stories about this back hallway we might just have to do an entire episode just about it. But first, here's today's little bit of unique information. So here's something interesting that people don't always know about movie theaters. On the wall behind me here, you can see these speakers, the surround sound speakers here, are used to hearing the noises come from the right and left. But what people don't realize is that there's also other speakers in the auditorium that you can't see. If we come over here and go in the back hallway, you can see these ginormous speakers here. These are the ones that I hurt my back trying to move. They're huge, they're heavy, but where do they go? Here's the interesting thing that you just don't know. Behind the movie screen, if we sneak in here, you should be able to see this. There are actually speakers up in there behind the movie screen. And if you look closely at a movie screen, you can see that it's perforated. There's a whole bunch of these tiny little holes. And what they are is for the sound to come out from behind the screen. There are ginormous speakers behind the screen and it comes out through those perforations. The reason being, when somebody's talking to you from the movie, the voice comes out of the person's face as they're talking. It's kind of a cool little piece of trivia you might not have known. 
Testing, testing, one, two, three.